All right, welcome back to this episode. If you've seen the last one, we made this door right here. We made this physics-driven door, so when you walk through, you can just, you know, walk through the door. It's like, it's really cool. It's like, boop, and it swings and everything. Cool, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another kind of door. Um, and this door is not gonna be a physics-driven door. This is just gonna be like a trigger door. So basically, when you walk into a trigger, the door will open. Um, you can set it with a lock or whatever. So let's do that this episode. First thing you want to do is come down to your physics door and you want to duplicate it. So right click on it and duplicate it. Then we're going to call it uh, trigger door uh, underscore BP. BP stands for blueprint. All right, with our trigger door, we're going to move it into the folder called doors. So move here, click and drag it there and go to that folder, right click and make a new folder called uh, trigger doors <clears throat> and you can put it there okay now that it's there we need to open that up and we need to go edit it a little bit so in this this has no code in it it's basically just running off of physics we want to change that up so we can delete a few things let's delete the physics constraint right now you've got a door here and it can open and close but we need to code it up to make it happen so before we do that let's press add and put a box collision line your box collision up so that um, when they're coming from either side of the door they'll be able to run into the box collision so watch how I do it and then you can line yours up the same way give them that much space because I want the door to open not like move them out the way I want it to open before they get there so compile save now <clears throat> while that box is selected go all the way to the right hand side and go down and click on component begin overlap right so when the player overlaps that box we want something to happen so type in third person character because that's who we want to overlap overlapping actor or the other actor I'm sorry and as this actor, we want to um, add a timeline. So, so you just right click and add a timeline. You can call the timeline whatever you want. You can call it timeline if you want to. Double click on your timeline. Click track, add a float track. <clears throat> and this is going to be our uh, door open. Okay, so first things first, we want it to happen in one second, right? And we want to right click here, add a key to the float. And you notice that the time and value. So at the time, we want it to be zero. And at the value, we want it to be zero. Then right click on that white line again, add key to curve. For the time this time, we want it to be one. And for the value this time, we want it to be one. So you press enter, compile, save and that is done let's go back to the event graph <clears throat> now what we want to happen here is we want this to happen right we want the um, timeline to play so grab out your door and then we're going to set relative rotation <clears throat> and the new rotation we want it to be is let's check it out here so the door we want it to rotate we want it to open up forwards so 90 or 100 but first things first, take this box and move it up to the default scene. <clears throat> That's better. Because now when we move the door, it's not going to move. Perfect. So let's say 90 degrees for the relative rotation in the Z. Um, now, so after you do your timeline, you set your relative rotation. Um, so what we need to do here is take this door, open the timer, 
and multiply times how how much you want it to open uh, and we said 90 degrees so we're going to multiply times 90 and then we have to break this pin so right click it split struct pin right and then you plug this right on into this the y'all which is the z okay now that you have that done what you need to do is we need to make sure that the door closes so this is the code for the door to open 90 degrees and now we want it to close so all we want to do is reverse this timeline and luckily there's a pin called reverse so click on the box here and go all the way down on the right hand side on component end overlap click the plus sign now the component that we want is the third person character so copy and paste hook up the other actor hook up this okay and then from the as third person character what we want this to once they stop overlapping that box we want the door to close so we want it to reverse so boom and that honestly should be that should be the door code right there so let's check it out and make sure that it works and if it works that's pretty much you know that's we did what we needed to do for this video So, let's test it out here. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. I'm going to leave. Oh. Okay, a little bit of problem there, huh? Let's test that out, huh? What's happening here, huh? Oh, reverse from the end. <laughs> there we go now play so on this door I'll leave it jeez oh you know what I did wrong guys I'm silly here I have the physics still turned on on this door so let's t click on your door come over here to this door over here we don't have to have the physics turned on you can turn that off right here and then just make sure it's still movable and that should be right so let's check that out now perfect and when I walk out closes perfect hey hey so that's it for this video today we've got two different kinds of doors here we've got a physics door and now we've got a door that's triggerable by walking into this box uh, next time we're gonna set up this door we're gonna make it more complex we're gonna put like a keypad so that when you type in the keypad, if you type in the wrong thing, the door is not going to open. But if you type in the right keypad um, stuff, it'll open. So that's going to be a longer video because we're going to have to make the keypad and all that. But it's going to be so worth it. So stick around for the next video and thanks for joining me. Peace.